Hey you, the one watching this video, make sure you stick around until the very end of this video in order to hear the stunning conclusion. Let's begin, shall we? Went to take my pants off, she was like, no, you don't have time, so I just, <laughs> <laughs> which I kind of wish I did, <laughs> but um. A person's wedding day is one of the most important days of their lives. It is a day that many couples invest not only thousands of hours, but tens of thousands of dollars in. But no matter how much planning goes into preparing for the special day, weddings provide a nearly unlimited number of opportunities for things to go wrong. From caterers to DJs, transportation to venues, you never know when one small change will throw everything else off schedule. Alabama features a number of beautiful public beaches and scenic views of the Mexican Gulf. The Gulf of Mexico is a central feature in the lives of many who reside along the Alabama coastline and maybe no one more than Zack and Cindy Edwards. Zack was an officer with the United States Coast Guard as well as a marine scientist. The great love of his life had always been the ocean until he met Cindy. The two of them dated for some time while Zack was stationed at Sector Mobile in Alabama's Mobile Bay. Eventually, Zack knew that he didn't want to spend the rest of his life with anybody but Cindy, and he proposed to her beside the ocean and soon the two of them set about planning the perfect wedding. At first, they discussed having a small family function, but as the planning continued, their ceremony became more and more lavish and the guest list continued to grow. The couple decided to get married at Orange Beach. The spot was popular with locals who considered it a mecca for water sports. They were unable to close down a section of the beach for private use, so they set their sights on an area where they hoped to be out of the way and free of intrusions on their special day. When the couple awakened on the big day, the sky was gray and it looked like the entire event would be a wash if rain started to fall. Nonetheless, Zack and City stayed positive as they continued to prepare, all the while just hoping that it wouldn't start to rain. Just as setup began on the beach, however, the clouds parted and the sun shined through, helping to calm the bride and groom. What's more, they discovered something else during the setup. The beach was adorned with red flags. The flags are a statement to visitors that the water is unsafe for public use. Beaches around the United States use a system of flags to represent the level of danger that the water presents to the public. Green flags represent calm, safe conditions, while yellow flags represent a need to exercise caution and a red flag represents danger and the closure of the beach. However, because many people ignore the flags, a double red flag is also used to symbolize extreme water conditions in which even experienced swimmers are likely to perish. For Zack and Cindy, the flags that day meant that the beach would be next to abandon, and they had the ideal conditions for their big day. Zack and Cindy were married in a beautiful ceremony and were busy posing for pictures when Cindy noticed something alarming. I'll tell you what Cindy noticed in just a second, but first make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon right now. After you click the bell, comment notification squad below and I'll reply to all of you saying thanks. So I'm in the Coast Guard um, and I was also a, a swim instructor at boot camp and a lifeguard for many years, so I'd teach recruits how to swim. The couple were posing for photos after saying I do when Cindy spotted something in the water. It took a moment, but the couple immediately recognized that it was a young man fighting desperately to stay afloat. He was at least 300 feet offshore and he was getting pulled out by the current. As a member of the United States Coast Guard, Zack was uniquely qualified to perform a rescue in violent ocean currents. While there were lifeguards on duty, they were all preoccupied with other people who had ignored the warnings and braved the violent conditions. Zack was preparing to swim out to the victim when two other people jumped in the water. Neither one qualified for the conditions they were facing. Zack only had his shirt off, but he knew that removing his pants could cost the lives of not just the first victim, but also the other two people. Zack dove in with his pants on and swam out to the would-be rescuers. He took a boogie board from one of them and sent him back to the shore. The other person was a strong swimmer who ended up following Zack out against his advice. They reached the victim, 18-year-old Jamel Robinson, who had a boogie board with him already. The two of them loaded Jamal onto the boards and began pulling him back toward land. Unfortunately, Zack's pants had become saturated and he was quickly losing the ability to stay afloat. It would seem unlikely that he would make it back. Just then, a lifeguard team who had been working with another victim approached them on a jet ski. Together, they were able to pull Zach, Jamel, and the other rescuers back to land. And that's our story for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click on one of the other two videos being shown currently, and I do hope you all have a good day.